Yo, what's going on guys? Today is a very special day. Today is the first day of rifle season here in Alabama. So you already know what we're about to go do. We are about to rifle hunt. We spent the night in Birmingham last night and now we have about an hour drive. It is currently 4.03 in the morning and we are about to go deer hunt. So last night I slept in Birmingham. I came up here, spent the night. So I only have an hour drive to where we hunt at now. And all there is to do now is to get some breakfast and go look for a deer. Also, the strategy for this morning is we don't really have a strategy. We just sit and we hunt and we wait for the deer to come out. So we have a greenfield that we're gonna hunt this morning. And um, honestly, opening day, I can only hunt this morning. I have something to do this evening. This morning, I don't wanna say whatever walks out, I'm gonna kill it. Cause if a fawn walks out, I'm not gonna shoot a fawn. But if a doe walks out, we're gonna give it some time. We're gonna let it walk around a little bit. And if it's a doe this morning, then just be it as a doe. But if we have something with some rack with some bones growing out of his head, we're gonna shoot it too. So hopefully we'll have a good look this morning. It is about, I don't know, I'm gonna guess before I check. I'm gonna say it's about like 53 degrees out here. We're gonna say it's, in, it's anywhere in between the range of like 49 to 53. It's 46, so we are gonna go ahead and head on over to the spot. We have about an hour drive. Sunlight should be at 545. It is four o'clock now. So we should be there in time to go ahead and get in the stand before the sun truly, truly starts to come up. Then hopefully we can see something. We have a little, I got a little mount to put my GoPro on my hat. I'm probably not gonna fool with this camera if something walks out because I know, I just know something's gonna happen. It always does. Every time I've ever tried to film a hunt, like even before I was doing YouTube, something would always happen. Or you turn your GoPro on and it starts beeping. And we don't need that this morning. So I have our rifle and everything ready to go. Now we are ready to go try and see if we can't see a deer. That's the goal. I feel like the first goal is, should be to see a deer and then decide on if we are going to shoot the deer. So goal number one is to see a deer. So we're going to get some McDonald's first and then we are going to go see if we can see a deer. So stay tuned. As you know, breakfast of champions this morning. I feel like every time I eat on these videos, it's at McDonald's, but can't beat it. McDonald's, oh shoot, I just hit the curve. We might have to go inside, I'm not sure. 99.9% .9 sure we're gonna have to go inside. All right, inside we go. No McDonald's after this morning, inside McDonald's, got it. And it seems like every hunter in the world is here. Well guys, we tried to go inside and get a McGriddle, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, but the inside was closed, so we came out with the Lunchable. I guess that's the same thing. We got one of the fancy Lunchables because the Italian dry salami looked good. So hopefully it's good. If it's not good, I'm taking it back. I'm gonna return it. Well guys, we have made it to our location this morning. All I gotta do now is get my backpack and rifle out and we're gonna step on down to the field, see if we can't see any nice, big, large mouth deer. All right, so we got our GoPro sound turned off. I'm not gonna wait down there because you're not gonna be able to see anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light off and I'm gonna walk on down to the field, sit in the shooting house and see what we can't see.
four guys we we just shot a dub. Um, it was it was starting to like there were four deer in the field. There were two small ones and two big ones behind the two small ones. And I was looking and I could have sworn like I heard something else in the woods and it like took off running. So I'm not sure like when I picked up my gun or what. I'm not sure what happened there, but like. I started to reach for my gun, started to pick it up. There's something else in the wood that was walking through. It took off running, and those four took off running. Or er, those four like stopped and looked at me, and I had my gun up in there. I was just holding it, waiting, <laughs> waiting for him to look away. I was just like sitting here like this. And then the first two walked back into the woods, and this was like the biggest dove, so I shot it. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna sit for, I think I'm gonna sit for a little bit longer. I have to. I need to be back on the road by about 12 or so. I'm probably gonna sit till about 10 and just see, wait and see, cause you never know the deer. Sometimes you'll get lucky and more will come out. So. so guys, the back door fell off of the shooting house not too long ago. There was a squirrel like about 10 feet away from me. It was barking on the tree. I was turning around, I didn't know what it was. Kind of scared me a little bit. Turns out to be a squirrel sitting back there chilling. I shot the deer. It's probably about 6:30ish when I shot the deer. So I've just been sitting. I gotta take my pictures. Take a thumbnail picture for the first day of deer season vlog. It's exciting. To know one of my cousins is about a mile or two. I'm not sure which direction. This he's that way. Hopefully he can see something. Hopefully he'll get him one too. It's gonna work out. Everybody's killing something today. We're all, all that me in the freezer. I wanna do like a catch and cook video, but it's probably gonna take too long to get this deer back. So I might make a separate video, like trying out a recipe or something like that. Cause y'all know I'm an expert in the kitchen. So <laughs> I have to stay tuned for that one. I bought this fancy GoPro mount for my hat. Actually, it came with my little head strap mount, so I put that on to walk over here to the deer, just in case it jumps up and kicks me in the face. I feel like that'll be pretty good, pretty good GoPro content. We're walking over to the deer now. Um, I feel like I talk about my big fears a lot in life, and one of my biggest fears is walking up on a deer and it like jumping up and kicking me in the face. Knocks me out. Like I'm not scared for it. Like kick me, I'm scared for it to knock me out when it kicks me. I'm gonna knock on wood when I say this, but every deer that I've shot with this 308 has not went anywhere. Is it two deer over there? Okay, so there was a deer in the woods that I just scared off talking, obviously, and then there was something else over there. So there was literally a deer probably not even Okay, so you know how just a second ago I was talking about how there were three deer in the, or there were four deer in the field, and then I shot the biggest one, or I shot the biggest doe. But when I walked over here, I heard something run off over there. That might have been a bird or a squirrel or something like that. But this was for sure a deer that I heard run back in that direction over there. But there was another one. I couldn't see it, but I could hear it, and it had to have been a deer. It was either a deer, a raccoon, a possum, something, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was a deer because it just kind of took off. It didn't run. It kind of had like a heavy walk to it. Oh, gosh. Maybe I should have sat for a little bit longer. But we are walking up on the deer now. So I'm not sure. I'm not going to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm not sure if y'all remember Darren. In that Cody hunting video, I said that this is where all the deer are at because of these little things. They kind of like tomatoes. I have no clue what they are. Somebody can tell me what they are. Let me know in the comments. But we got ourselves a 
deer right here. It's kind of cool, like, because I don't ever really walk back here too much, right, except for when I kill a deer. So you can kind of see, like, where they come in at. I was looking down when the first two came in the field. So when I saw them, when I saw the first two, one was coming, like, out of the woods right there, and there's, you can kind of see, like, a little lane. Then another one was coming out in this lane right here. Then one was coming out right here, and I'm not really sure where the fourth one came from. We got ourselves a nice doe. Make it there, it dropped right where I shot it at because it was walking back into the woods. They saw me in the shooting house, and I was like sitting there staring at them. They were staring at me and dropped her right here. And got ourselves some good eating, as they say. So, we're going to take ourselves some social media Instagram pictures, some social pictures, and then gonna get to drag it and take it on to the processor. I don't think I'm gonna clean it here. And if I, well, if I do clean it, I can't put it in the video. So I might just take it on to the processor. Oh, the dragging part of the deer is always the best part. It's always great. But it's a blessing, you know, to be able to kill a deer. I'm just, just teasing. Well guys, I have made it back. We managed to kill one doe, so I say it was a successful trip. I appreciate y'all watching the videos late and tired, but thank y'all for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate all of the support. Let me know what you want to see me hunt next, what I should do next. Let me know that. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank y'all so much for all the support. We're not gonna say fish them hard. Well, we are gonna say fish them hard. Fish them hard, but also hunt them hard, and have a good day.